It's always easy keeping oaths and promises in the light of day in predictable everyday life. But when darkness comes, only your survival instinct can guide your decisions. He couldn't make it, sir. Mud and the smell of death are friends who will always judge you. Can your own suffering redeem you for decisions that are never completely right? And there we go. So yes, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to War Hospital. Uh, this is a World War I uh, hospital-style management game. Uh, other than that, I don't know too much about it. I just know that I've seen a bunch of trailers for this. I've been tracking it a long time, and so I wanted to check it out. And uh, yes, big thanks to the developers for giving me a key to this game. I was going to buy it anyway, but... I reached out to them and uh, they gave me a key, so uh, yeah, cool stuff. I might have to make some sound adjustments as we uh, get into this, but uh, let's get started. See what it's all about. This game looks very depressing. Well, you're not wrong. unable to stop the events that led to the fact that today I am going to the front and you are no longer there. You cannot imagine how much pain I carry in my heart. With your death, I question the sense of my continued existence. This must be some kind of joke. But fate throws me to a place where I might be able to save your colleagues and many others. So far, I like the presentation and art style. It's very nice. Hello, sir. My name is Grissing, the head doctor of this hospital. If I may speak freely, sir, we expected more than just an officer's rank to support our current situation. The Hun could break through our lines at any moment now. Head Doctor, mind your tongue. This is our new commander in charge. Sir, I'm delighted that someone with your experience is joining us. I recall your work in London very well. Praveen Kumar, head engineer. If you want something done, you should come to me, sir. Major Henry Wells, as you all know, I was directed here to manage this hospital. I will count on your professionalism, regardless of your private opinions about me. If I may, sir, we have wounded that are already waiting in Casualty Clearing Station. We should tend to them first. Agreed. We should not let them wait any longer. To start, decisions must be made about their fate, sir. Their files are already waiting for you in Casualty Clearing Station. Okay. Uh, patients are waiting in the, uh, casualty clearing station. Uh, click on the red button to enter the building and begin, uh, assigning patients to doctors. Okay. Uh, I do want to make one sound change if I can. I feel like the VO is a little bit low. Uh, let's try 75. 
And then let's take this down to like 90, this down to 90, this down to maybe 90. We'll try that and see what that does for us. Okay. So assigning patients part two, drag a patient card on the left to a doctor on the right. Uh, this guy is resting well, used zero, four owned. Okay. Can I get like info on this? Very well, sir. Now that the decision was taken, we can start operating on these patients. Now that a patient has been assigned, exit the building. Okay. We are we are learning. Once patients are assigned, they need to be carried to the uh, operating ward. Click on the casualty clearing station again. Uh, okay, here. There are no medics assigned here, so it's not working properly. We need to change that. Click on the assignment button. Okay, so we have medic teams, nurses, patients. Okay. So wounded are transported here for triage. Okay. So do I have to go to assignment? So over here, what is this? Okay, I don't I don't know what that is yet. Whoop. Okay, so there are no medics. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Got it. So yeah, click on the assignment. Thank you. Alright. Drag one of the available medic teams to one of the slots in the CCS. Okay, got it. So we have multiple medic teams. Does not have preferences. Okay, so I go there. So we have the CCS, we have the ADS, and then chemistry? Sir, medics are on the way. Okay, cool. All right, job well done. Now the medics are assigned to the CCS. Wait until the patient is carried to the operating ward. And Okay. You can see the progress on the top. Okay, got it. Sorry, did I go too far? Is that uh, the new new guys coming in here? Okay. And then it starts to rain. Oh, they're here. They're grabbing the guy. All right. I'm actually going to turn down the effects a little bit. Still might be too loud. So yeah, I'm going to transport that guy to the operating ward. So now it says one of two. We have zero out of ten over here now. What's this red? Oh, is this the the Okay, so that's almost done. Sir, I'm afraid that one of our patients died during the operation. How did it happen? Was it a mistake or an oversight? No, sir. It was just bad luck. The patient was too weak to survive the operation, and we could do nothing more to save him. Maybe with better equipment we could do something, but the sad reality is that we cannot save them all. I understand. Then we need to prepare his body to be buried. According to directives from HQ, all deceased are to be buried in place. Too many bodies to transport home, I'm afraid. Okay. Uh, I'll also say, with this game, I don't really know what the end game goal of this is. Okay, so patients can die during the operations. I mean, they just kind of explain that, so.
So we have a morale meter down here at the bottom. Patient died. Assign medic to... Okay, I don't, I don't know if I want to actually do that just yet. Okay. Oh, I got to click on the cemetery. Right. Uh, so where's, it, where's that at? Okay, there's that. There's a canteen over there. This is the staffing area. There's a warehouse. Ah, here we go. Now enter the assignment view and click on the assignment button. Got it. All right, drag uh, one of the available medical teams to one of the uh, slots in the cemetery. Okay, got it. So let's say like these guys. Also, I noticed at the top here, we have assignment staff, patients, improvements, trains, warehouse, cemetery. Actually, do I have to do this? Not in cemetery. Okay. Okay. I do like that I'm doing the tutorial. If I'm taking too long, it pops back up. That's actually Sir, pr pretty nice. Are on the way. Good job. Now that the medics are assigned to the cemetery, the unfortunate patients uh, should be buried soon. Okay. Uh, we are out of surgical supplies. So I can just order some. Okay, so zero out of 40, okay. Okay, ordering resources. Uh, uh, operation, or uh, operating patients use the supplies, and we've got no more surgical supplies, so you won't be able to operate. When in this situation, you can order resources to uh, arrive shortly. Click on the train station. Okay. Uh, where was the train station? So we have a little quest pop up over there. That's nice. Did I see a train station? Ah, here we go. Click on the order resources button. Okay. All right, click on the plus symbol next to the surgical supplies. It's like 40 of them. Okay. So what is like my currency in this game? Is it these papers? How do I get paper currency? So that's going to take... Did that number go up at all? So it's... Okay, it's surgical supplies... It's giving me a cost of like 16. Okay. Uh, order? Okay, yeah, so I get, yeah, my currency is these paper things, whatever these are. Okay. Ordering supplies is costly. Oh, wait, wait. What's this? Used to treat uh, chemical wounds can be produced in the pharmacy or ordered at the train station. Okay. Build a pharmacy. Got it. Uh, click on the red button. Got it. Thank you. Assign engineers to build the pharmacy. Drag at least one of the engineers. and click this. Okay. Sign this guy. All right, you can see the progress of the building improvement at the top of the screen. All right, wait till it's done. Here comes our engineer guy. Oh, I have 11 more papers now. Oh, it's military drafts. Okay. 
Use for ordering other resources and building improvements. Receive mainly for sending soldiers to the HQ. Okay. So, okay. I, I, with that information, I'm kind of seeing the goal of this. You have to try and save as many patients as you can and then send them back to the war. If you're doing a bad job of, of that, then you're not getting your resources back in order to, like, make this place better. I'm assuming that's what's happening. Okay. Hospital staff as well as civilians consume food rations. They can go to the canteen every day. Okay. You can set how much you have for food rations will be eaten each day. This affects morale. Okay, got it. So over here, is this rations then? Oh, that's alcohol. And then this is, what, rations? Okay. Okay. New patients have arrived at the CCS. We should make sure we have enough surgical supplies to uh, uh, operate them before their conditions get worse. Go ahead and do two. Okay. Sir, new patient arrived. More wounded will likely arrive soon. We should start manufacturing uh, surgical supplies. Okay, we need 15 of those. Got it. Got it. Okay. No assigned workers. I think I could probably assign some people. Okay. I'm starting to understand how this works. Got it. This guy is resting. Well, then, we'll just assign this guy. Click on the CCS. And then... Okay, got it. I had to assign this guy first. Now the engineers are assigned to supply production. Okay, got it. So is he just going to... I guess he's going to do two and then he's going to stop? Alright, alright. Game, I'll come back over here. So we got medical teams, nurses, engineers, and scouts. I'm probably jumping ahead of the tutorial. Squads of shoulders, uh, especially trained for recon, that can be sent on recon missions around the hospital. Okay, so there's actually more to it than just the hospital bit. Married to ch oh. Settle down, game. I'm getting to it. Okay, fine. I'm going to click on here, and I'm going to go to... Uh, was it improvements in... Oh, God. There's, like, tr skill trees for all this. All right, we're getting deeper into this. Okay, fine. I'll I'll do what you're asking. I'm trying to explore. Leave me alone. Yeah. Engineers reach the pharmacy. I think it wanted me to assign more patients. Can I? Oh, okay. So this is how we actually inspect. And so I think how this is gonna work is we're gonna get overwhelmed with patients, and you have to decide which ones. To like save, you know, which ones are like better and easier to fix. So patient state good, uh, operating time one hour. Chance of failure is only one star, complication one star. Does it tell me what his problem is? Or am I missing it here on this screen? So this guy, wait, 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 this guy has, okay. Former lumberjack. It's interesting, yeah, there's like these little tidbits on all these guys. Okay, uh, anywho. Can I sign like two patients to one doctor? I guess we're going to find out.
Okay, we're producing uh, surgical supplies, right? Are we cooking over here? We're cooking. I wonder if you can actually build like more than one building or maybe that's just more about improvements. Set rest. Not enough medicine. Okay, so he can't do anything until we get the medicine that we need. Which we're producing right now. Okay. There is a speed button here. We'll uh, up the game speed here a little bit. So do we have a a guy that's going to take the stuff from one building to another? June 18 or sorry, June 1918, only 5 months left of the war. So are you going to start doing stuff now that you, Oh, and now it says 1 out of 10. Oh, this is uh operated. Okay. So does he get moved over to this building? Oh, I guess it is. Okay. So now this says uh, one of two. Okay, so yeah, here's his uh, progress bar. Okay. So we'll just let this roll as the game is teaching us to do stuff here. Oh God. Operation was successful. So if I go back over here, yeah. So what's going to happen when this is done here? Is it just going to keep making more? Okay, it is. All right. Wait, what is this thing up at the top here? Ruthless versus humanitarian? Am I making light side, dark side decisions? What's going on here? Okay, so this guy is now going to like operation. The doctor is rested. Who are you guys? Are you going to transfer him? Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Cool. The rehab center is not functioning properly because there's no nurse assigned. Well, I haven't been told to do that yet. Wait, we have a rehab center? I don't even, I don't even know where that is. Game, do you, okay, here we go. I was gonna say the game hasn't told me about that yet. Sometimes operations might require you to choose a course of action. An exclamation mark will show up at the top of the screen. Oh, okay. Sir, it seems the patient's body was able to fight off the infection on its own. Closing the wound should be enough to help the patient recover. So, wait, doctor card, patient card. So this decreases our cost. Uh, for now, we can do it by the book. There's no reason not to.
This place is looking a little rough, I'm just saying. Oh wait, is there like different views? Oh. Operation was successful. Oh. oh, I can like flip between like the different beds or whatever. Okay, after operations, patients need to be rehabbed. Okay. Yeah, the game was complaining about that. So that was down here. All right, assignment. Okay, got it. We have uh, nurse number one or nurse number two. There we go. Wait, why is there a down arrow? Oh, she would prefer to work it. Okay, time out, time out. Okay, this nurse doesn't have a, uh, wait, wait a minute. Okay, I saw that arrow and I was like, what does that arrow mean? Nurses are on the way. Good job. Now the nurses are assigned to the rehab center. You can see how much time it will take to uh, complete that. Okay. Sir, new patient arrived. Oh, thank you. So does it want me to go? Time to put knowledge into action. A group of wounded just arrived to the CCS. Heal them. Got it. I know what I'm doing now. Oh God, there's a lot of guys here. The rest marker determines when a doctor will stop operating and rest. Uh, drag the marker between the patients assigned to that doctor to set it. Doctors with no patients assigned to them rest on their own. Doctors who have collapsed can't work until they regain all of their energy resulting in a much longer resting time. Make sure to use the rest markers. Okay. Now I'm assuming the higher numbers here, like the six are guys that are in worse condition. Like, oh yeah, more stars uh, are bad. So, if he... Oh, he's tired right now, though. Well, no, no, that's because he's got nothing to do. I think it would make sense to do the hard one first. I mean, you should be able to do, like... We'll give you a hard one, and then an easy one, and then, like, rest. And then do hard one, easy one. Right? Sure. Try that. I'm a rookie hospital administrator. Well, uh, oh wait, he's tired. Well, rest. Okay, do the one guy. Here, can you like take this back? I thought he was resting. Do the one guy. Wait, can I switch this around? Hold on. Do the easy one, rest, and then let's see what happens. I need more doctors. That's what I really need. The nurses reach the rehab. Just now? That nurse seems to be walking in place. <clears throat> it's okay. Oh, what is this? Again, I'm probably jumping ahead of the tutorial. I have some, uh, some people pending. Send to the trenches. Release from duty, send to HQ. I'm gonna be the nice administrator. And all the guys with families, I'm just gonna be like, just go home to your kids. Oh, you're a single guy? Back to the trenches for you. What was that noise? Does that, does that mean something?
Okay. Can I bring up, like, doctor stats? I guess not. At least not on this screen. Okay, so this guy is done, and he's going to get transferred. So then the doctor will rest and then work on this guy. Okay, so he's already over here then. Whoop, not that. This guy's got his face all covered up. There's no more space for freight in the warehouse. Well, good. That means we have a lot of supplies. This guy got uh, smacked in the head one too many times. Sir, operation was successful. Good. So is our doctor resting then? Yes. Okay, cool. But now it, I'm wondering if these are still accurate then? Like, is he going to rest, do two guys, and then get exhausted again? We're going to have to keep an eye on this so we can figure out how the system works. Where and what's what's 1640 hours? Do I have like a clock or something? Oh, I guess I, I guess I I do. Okay. By the way, every once in a while the uh the sound is like cutting out for a second. Uh that's the game doing that. It's kind of weird. Uh, I don't think we had been to this this deal. I don't we haven't gone through this tutorial yet. So what uh what are these oh combat power? This dude is like incredible, I think. He's like three star combat power. He's a corporal, 39th division. I mean, if your combat power is that great, back to the trenches for you. So this guy, uh, 3rd infantry. I guess I'm going to send you to HQ, and then you are a, is it a 1st Sergeant Major, 2nd Infantry Division? I guess back to HQ for you? You've gained morale for releasing soldiers from service. Combat power raises... When you send soldiers to the... Tr so what what does combat power do for me? That's something that hasn't been explained yet. Sir, patient is cured. Good. I like a cured patient. So I'm going to go back to here. So how... I, I guess our doctor's still resting. Okay. Oh, we have like 155 of these food rations. Sir, patient is cured. Okay. Oh, are you talking about down here? Okay. I'm going to speed up the game a little bit here. Yeah, we only healed the one, then our doctor went on a break. I wonder how I can recruit more staff. We're probably going to get to that at some point. 
Actually, where was that other screen at that I had? Um, yeah, this one. Yeah, how do I get more doctors? There are, oh, there's three types of doctors. Okay. So this is what I have, but how do I get more? That's the question. These guys are ready for operation. This guy's resting. Oh, there was also a, uh, a message about our cargo or warehouse being full. Also, I got to say, it'd be cool if this game had Twitch integration and it would pull names from chat or something like that. I have no idea how difficult that is to, like, program in. Okay, I'm going to big time speed up the clock here. Oh, what is this? Oh, there's higher personnel. Again, I hate to jump ahead of the tutorial, but uh, having another doctor would be really great right now. Oh, it was under the train thing. I didn't notice that. Okay, so that's that's that drop down. Hey, it's finally stopped raining. Sir, patient is cured. Is that one of these deals or uh? Oh, that's, that's the pharmacy. Oh, I think it must have been talking about the ones I put in the boxes. Dispatch from HQ, sir. Uh oh. Sir, our defensive line has been broken. Multiple casualties. The 36th Division is in retreat. Help. Oh my, that is terrible news. <sighs> Another bunch of those poor bastards will be here soon. I'll better check our stocks. What about the hospital? Are we to evacuate the facility? No, sir. HQ gives us no such orders, sir. In fact, there were no orders for us. So wait, can we actually be like attacked? Sir, operation was successful. Okay, our doctor's working again. So wait, I'm our doctor is gonna get exhausted? But he just rested though. I guess he's still tired? So technically, should I pull these guys away so that he can rest more? Or maybe we should do, like, one of them? I guess we'll do one of them and then have him just rest again. Now, okay, that's... So wait, what if I, what if I... Okay, if I pull that away, it says exhausted, okay. So I guess go ahead and do that one guy, rest, and then do the second guy. For 11 out of 15 on supplies. Wait, I thought you were operating on a guy over here, were you not? Okay. Oh, this looks like trouble. All of a sudden, it's going to be like, you have 400 patients. And one doctor. Oh, this isn't good. Not at all, chat. Sir, survivors from our forces in the north. 
Wait, who are these guys? Where are those guys going? Lieutenant Colonel Angus McFiddler, commanding the 36th. My orders are to set up a temporary line of defense north of here, but I will not be able to do that with our limited forces. I understand. How can we help, Lieutenant Colonel? Heal as many of the soldiers from the front line as possible. Having them reinforce our defensive line will help our men significantly. How many do you need? As many as you can provide, I'm afraid. Intelligence reports suggest that Germans will launch an attack on our position on the 8th of June. Probably around noon. What about reinforcements from HQ? There will be none. Not until the 21st of June, at least. HQ is gathering forces and regrouping for a major counter-offensive. Our orders are to survive on our own till that day. <laughs> on our own? This is a hospital, not a military camp. How do they expect us to manage that? We will be given the best intelligence reports they have. We will know about every attack and the estimated size of the attacking force in advance. That's the best HQ could give us. <sighs> I understand, Lieutenant Colonel. There are old trenches nearby. You can set up the fences there. We will try to send enough men to survive enemy attacks. Okay. This is not going to go well for us. Also, there's a bunch of guys over there just doing exercises. You should, uh, you know, have them help out. Trenches near the hospital are protected by shoulders from the 36th Division. Uh, they are able to be def defeated. Okay. Timeline. Which is all important information. Okay. All incoming uh, attacks are indicated on the timeline. All soldiers assigned to the trenches are shown on the timeline as well. Uh, each attack on the trenches require a certain amount of soldiers to repel it. The current status of the defenses in the trenches is shown on the timeline. Too few, solid, good, strong. Okay, so there actually is like a combat element to this. Okay, so up at the top here, this is where we switch. Well, I gotta send all these guys to the trenches then. Otherwise, we're gonna die. Sorry. Patient is cured. Sorry, but everybody goes back in at this point. Uh, who here in this list has the highest, like, combat? Stats or um, is there a way that I can see that? I saw it on the other screen. Good, good. I should almost do. Wound severity. Oh, this guy's like got an eight. Uh, hey, Doc, no more resting. Time to get up. This is an emergency situation. Start knocking these. Uh, I mean, he's going to get extremely exhausted. I don't like the way... Alright, let's just let's start with that and then see what happens. Sir, doctor is starting a new shift. Wait, what did she just say? Okay, so as long as I have an engineer here, they just keep pumping out 
resources. Yeah, I'm surprised the game is not... I mean, I could probably go and try and get, like, another doctor, but the game hasn't told me to do that, so I kind of don't want to. So, yeah, survive until 5 a.m. on the 21st of June. Oh, wow, that's actually way longer Sir, than, operation was successful. than I thought. Sir, patient is cured. Sometimes patients cannot be healed and should be uh, denied operation. Uh, enter the CCS and go to the assignment patient. Sir, new patient arrived. Uh, patients? Well, these guys are actually waiting outside because there's no room in the tent. Okay, denying patients. Time consuming and the chances of success are extremely low. In those cases, it's better to deny the patient. That way you'll lose less morale and you'll be able to save other patients. Drag the patient to the denied folder. So which patient are we denying? Is it the, tw the 12? You have, you have literally every star. So what's your, uh, what's your problem exactly? Actually, his state is good. But he's got, like, the three bullet holes. Okay, so, okay, yeah. All right, uh, I can't save you. You have too many bullet holes in you. As long... We should hire another surgeon. Yes, we should. Thank you. Time to hire a surgeon to uh, hover over the icon in the uh, top left corner. Okay, yeah, I kind of forget that I already. Where was the hiring screen? Click on the plus symbol next to the surgeon, then press the order button. Okay. Done. Order. Confirm. That concludes uh, production basics. You can find more detail. Uh, got it. Oh, I like the little car. So now wait, is a surgeon in this, in the CCS or in the other place? Or in the, uh, probably in the operating ward, I imagine. I need, I need help in the CCS. That's where my problem is. Can I just go ahead and hire a doctor for in here now? I'm going to do it. Oh, I... Wait, no required building. Or wait, or is that medical team? Hold on. Oh, wait, wait, I got to go to assignment. So I need a medical team. Sir, medics are on the way. Good, give me more. Can I buy another medical team? What's that gonna cost me? Oh, I don't have enough uh, whatever points. Well, shoot. What's my currency here? Or is it just... Oh, staff points. Oh, by completing HQ requests. Ah. I need that other guy to get over here immediately. Yeah, 
Yeah, I wanna I wanna fill this up properly. Sir, new patient arrived. Yeah, I feel like over here I didn't actually need more help. I'm doing fine over there. Okay, uh, you're, you're like incredible. So, uh, you're going to the trenches. He kissed the picture of a woman every evening before going to sleep. I mean, who doesn't? Sir, patient is cured. Good. Did my other doctor show up yet? Nope. I can cure these guys. I just need more help. HQ needs to send me more men. Oh, we have a decision here. It was surprisingly easy in allowing the operation team to gain more faith in their skill. So what's the difference here? Doctor card, patient card. Um, let's do doctor card. Oh, that's just telling me about the doctor. Oh. Um. Okay. Yeah, I got to keep an eye on this little spot up here in the upper, like, almost right upper center. So, really, this guy needs to almost go next. Uh, I feel like I have enough troops on the front line right now. We're kind of spread out, though. We have, like, one guy every, like, I don't know, 30, 40 yards. Hey, Matt Russo, how's it going? So, wait, so when, oh, the train arrives in 45 seconds, okay. We just need to hang. And then all of our problems will be solved. I'm very curious as to when we start getting into, like, the skill tree system. Because this looks pretty crazy. Oh, is the game paused when I'm in this mode? It is. Okay. Okay. Huh, x-ray, amputation tools. Huh, interesting. Medic team rooms, nurse rooms. So I, I imagine it must be game over if the enemy gets through the trenches and gets to the hospital. That's like, oh, you're done. You lost. So as long as the hospital doesn't fall under siege, then you're fine. My boots are soaked. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, now that the surgeon has arrived, HQ granted you staff points to hire any units you like. Good. Good, good, good. Got it. I mean, this is the bottleneck over here right now. So this... Oh, good. Are the other guys here? Okay. Let's start knocking out some easy ones. Do this guy. Do this guy. Uh, then let's do... Oh, this guy's in... Oh, wait, this guy's in serious condition now. Fine, do him first. And then I'm exhausted. Uh, do a rest then. Uh, you need to rest after there. 
Okay, well, I'm just gonna hold, I think, well, actually, no. Let's go ahead and do that. Wait, I have I have two decisions. Oh no no no, we're okay. Never mind. It said something about you had like decisions to make or something. Yeah, surgery. Switch to surgery ward. It's like surgery ward to decide two. Oh wait 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 wait. Oh, I can switch all. Okay, I don't want to do that. That's a weird button. Why would I want to completely flip that around? Now, funny enough, this guy is still okay. I'm going to bring him back out. Even though I denied him. He's got three bullet holes in him, but he's stable. Uh, if he can manage to, like, stay alive, then uh, I'm just going to... We'll, we'll fix him up. This guy's, like, really tough. Sir, new patient survived. Thank you. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hire, like, another doctor then. We should work on improving the healing process. I agree. Build an x-ray improvement. All right. So now what's finally teaching us about the skill tree. Okay. Hover over the icon in the top left of the screen and click on the camp improvements. Going to build an x-ray uh, got it okay so x-ray improve got it assign engineers to build the improvements drag at least one of the engineers and then click the assignment button actually i probably need another engineer so can i hire I don't know how many points I have. Wait, we're losing him? Okay. Sir, engineers reached the construction site. That's fine. We'll work on it. Uh, yeah, where was that staff hire? Here we go. How many points? I have six points. Okay, cool. I can hire... Can I hire one of each? I want to do an engineer, a medic, and a nurse. That puts me at five. Done. That'd be really nice. Okay, what seems to be the problem over here? My, my dude is well rested. Yeah, I can't believe this guy that's been shot three times is just, like, hanging out. He's like, I'm fine. I, just, I rubbed some dirt on it. So I guess I need more engineers over here at some point. We have nobody in rehab. So I, and again, I hate to jump ahead of the tutorial, but I have enough points to do something else. I'll, I'll wait. We'll let the game teach us. Oh, so is this where the construction is happening? I guess. Uh oh. Time out. What's going on here? So the patient's immune system is not reacting well, and there's a high risk of infection without additional medical supplies. We could lose him. No, normal's fine. We're not in freak out mode yet. So we lost this patient. 
Dang it. Oh, I just realized that there's a, um, an activity feed over here that I didn't notice before. Oh, he's body bagging that guy. So is this where I got to go over here to the like graveyard and do what assignment? Or does that happen automatically? The patient died during transport. Not in cemetery. Yeah, I'm not, I think they might auto-transport him, but I'm not sure. Also, what kind of upgrade system do we have for the uh, cemetery? Do we have one? I don't, I don't think we do. The train arrives in two minutes with all my new people. Oh, is that him right here? Okay, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, if, if we can get one more doctor going in here, that would be real nice. At least we can have, like, one resting while the other two work. Sir, may I have a word with you? Yes. <sighs> Certainly. Tell me what's on your mind. I was approached today by one of the civilian that stayed in the city. A man named Theo Blank. He was a stonemason here. According to his words, he customarily made a tombstone for each person buried in the cemetery. But with cemetery requisitioned by the military and so many deceased, he will not be able to because of the sheer amount of work. Well, that is certainly sad. But I don't see anything we could do to help him. Well, I think I have a kind of solution to this problem, sir. There is a significantly seized rock in the cemetery. We could use it to make a sort of memorial stone and carve there the name of each person died or that will die in the future. Mr. Theo Blank volunteered to prepare the stone and carve the name each time the person dies. All that is needed, sir, is your permission. Cool. Yeah, definitely 100%. Thank you to the devs for VOing the story. I feel like a lot of games yeah. like this don't do that, but this game did, so thank you. Also, the one guy's voice I recognize, but I can't remember what who that is. Like the the guy who is the like um Camp leader. That's like a very recognizable voice, but I can't remember what actor that is. Okay, I'm just seeing if that other doctor showed up yet. I guess not. Ten seconds. Sir, we lost this patient. Again? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm okay with this. I hire a new surgeon, and he, like, kills two people. What is going on here? Alright, we now have three... ...in here. Well, uh, did he not get assigned? Hold on. If your AI is mispronouncing words, just don't use it. What? Uh, 
I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Or is this guy not here yet? The doctor talking about tombstone mispronounced the word in the VO. Are you sure it's not a uh, an yeah. accent thing? Medics are on the way. Sir, we lost this patient. What is happening here? Okay. We be oh, that's right. We've got that x-ray machine done now. Well, hopefully that'll speed things up. I'm gonna get trench foot? Is that a thing? Sir, medics reached the casualty clearing station. Oh, is that finally my new guy? No. Not yet. Listen here, the guy with the three bullet holes is still here and he's not dead yet. So, Superman, that's all I'm saying. The cemetery needs at least one medic team. There's no one to bury. Wait, it, what? Oh, did I accidentally transfer the medic? No, wait, there is a medic team there. What are you talking about? Also, why does the cemetery need that many medic teams? Probably just because we had so many people die in such a quick area. Okay, nobody's rehabbing yet. It's because everybody keeps dying over here in the operating ward. Can I see what is on the train? Where's the train button at? Let's see here. Um, June 9th. Okay, so it doesn't... It says the train is arriving in like a minute. I figured when I ordered those people, they would all come on the next train, but maybe not? Hold on, let me go to... Uh, I'm still a little bit confused by... I've got three guys here, but I only see two on the inside. And I have two nurses... ...available. I have two engineers available. I guess do... Should I just assign... I don't have a nurse in the CCS. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Time out. Where, where did you want to work? Prefers to not work in the rehab center? Fine. Work here, then. Does not have a preference. So I don't really have a place for another engineer unless I just stick him in the pharmacy. So if I put you in the pharmacy, what what are you doing here then? Oh, we just have two guys doing medical supplies then. That's fine. I got no problem with that. So now that we have a nurse inside here, what is what is that doing for us, I wonder? Okay, since this guy has been waiting... What? Why is this guy so tired all the time? 22 used. 20... Oh, that's uh, medical supplies. Oh, because this... This guy is, like, so badly injured, he's going to literally take every medical supply that I have. You know what? He's earned it. I don't care. It's fine. The fact that he's not bled out or died yet... Fine. You deserve it. Sir, engineers reached the pharmacy. 
Oh, good. Now, if we can just get this area... Oh, the nurse just now got to the hospital. So yeah, I'm still wondering what that does for me exactly. I'm not sure. So wounded in admission, seven out of 10. Patient state improved by 0%. Hmm. All right, train is gonna be here in seven seconds. So today is the has reached the casualty clearing station. Okay. Did the train come and go and I didn't even see it? I guess. Listen, operating ward, you guys gotta get one guy out of here and that actually survives, okay? Okay, now that she's here, it's 10%. Got it. So a nurse is like a bonus, basically. Still, I need that other doctor here. Actually, going back to that other screen for a second. trying to figure out what's going on here. I, I, is this a bug? Or am I doing something wrong? I should have three guys. Like three doctors. But I'm not seeing three. I'm seeing two. I think the medical teams are just the, uh, oh, the stretcher guys. So, So I only have two doctors, Jacob and Larry. And so here's Jacob and Larry. So who's, okay, so you have doctors and surgeons. So who's, who's this? Hold on. Who's this guy? I don't have an assignment screen on the on the operating ward. I mean, we have the nurse working on the operating ward. But I, I had to hire a surgeon, though. There's not a surgeon option here, though. Sir, we lost this patient. Are you kidding me? 
We didn't lose this guy in here, did we? Damn it. I think they're like 0-4 in the operating ward. For like the last four guys that went in there. Sir, I am happy to report that Mr. Blank finished the memorial stone. It is ready now. If you would like to examine it, it awaits at the cemetery. Also, that surgery was at like 90%. Oh, that's nice. How does this keep happening? So I, I, okay, so I guess surgeons are just generic guy, insert generic people. That's kind of interesting that they chose to do it that way. Although I guess I'm, I mean, there's physicians. Well, we ain't doing nothing until these guys can rest. Okay, listen, I swear, if you guys botch this surgery... Oh, great, what happened this time? <sighs> the patient suffered a rapture of an artery during transport. Medics were able to stabilize him, but in the process, they contaminated the wound, causing gangrene. Well, I only have one option here. If he even survives. So, how are things uh, going out here in Trenchland? Things going all right? Energy and collapse. Okay. One of the current uh, assigned units is exhausted from working too long. If we ignore it, that unit will collapse. Yeah, it's one of the doctors. I am aware of this. Uh, he's resting now. He'll be fine. Uh, units that are working lose energy. Yeah, I got this figured out. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fine. Is there anybody like... Hold on, if I go into rehab here... It's really only those two doctors that I have to worry about, right? I don't think there's anybody else that runs that condition. Energy and collapsing part two. No, well, that's fine. Now this right here actually says like a 
Scient oh, so, okay, wait. These guys are surgeons. They're not like doctors. So, hold on. If I go back to... I'm just going to let that roll here. He's, a, he's at 80%. Don't let him die. If he does, I swear. You know what? We're going to watch this bar. You guys have let too many of these guys die in the last, like, 10%. Sir, operation was successful. About time. Anywho. Is there somebody else that's like exhausted and I'm just not seeing this? Slightly tired, well rested. Yeah, like literally everybody is fine. Well, I mean, except for that guy. But he's, uh... He's being fixed, though. Yeah, I, actually, both of our guys are resting right now. What I should do is... Let's throw an easy one at that guy, and so when he's done resting, he can just do the easy one. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do instead? Let- I'm gonna- I'm gonna take that guy out of the lineup. So, this guy can rest, do the hard guy, and then he can go rest again. We don't have that many patients. Dr. Jacob is uh awaits a new assignment. Wait, what? Didn't Sir, I just do doctor that? Is starting a new shift. Oh, now you're well rested? Well, I mean you're gonna be working on the three gunshot guy for like eight hours, so. Good luck with that. Hey, we finally have somebody over here that can, uh, that can help. So, Private 5th Division. Wasn't there a different way of, like, viewing this? Or am I crazy? Well, anyway. His combat power is pretty low. I think I'm going to send this guy back to HQ. Instead of sending him to the trenches. That'll get us some points. Yeah, I, I want to see if this guy, like, actually makes it all the way through. If he does, I'm just... Actually, ch all right, chat. I feel like this needs to be a group decision. So this guy that's been shot up and he's been sitting here for, like, two weeks. If he actually survives all the way through, do we send him home? Do we send him back to HQ or do we send him back to the trenches? What, what do we do with him? Part of me thinks we should send him home, but
We'll see see if he comes back dead again. I can't quite see what his name is. His name is Hudson something. Like Omir, Omar, something? I can't click on his record when he's being like operated on or whatever. Oh, here he is. Operate. Oh God. Wait here. Oh, here, here he is. Oh, he has a high temperature. He's fine. Um, so wait, what is the right option here? Oh, so, okay, yeah, use the cooling compress to decrease his temperature. We need to stay on top of this situation. Oh, Hudson can't, uh, can't die. Wait, or is this, is this two different guys? Hold on. Temp usually means infection, yeah. It's at Hudson Carmel. Okay, it is. You know what? I guess I didn't realize that the two buildings were connected. So even even though it shows... Okay, yeah. I didn't realize that these two buildings were connected uh, a little bit deeper than what I thought. So the two surge, the, the, like, what was that noise? Wait, what did you just do? I thought he used a hammer on him for a second. I was like, what the hell? By the way, this man has some buff legs. Jeez. This is why he's Superman. He's been shot six times, and he's he's fine. Just don't die on the table. Yeah, I think what confused me on this is the fact that it's two different buildings, but they run the same set of screens. So this screen is the screen for both buildings. Oh, we have a dude in critical condition. Mm. What's your story? Corporal Division 4. Former Taylor. Well, we'll see what happens. Right now, I don't have anybody to help him. I guarantee nothing. He's not afraid of death. He decided that he had already died when he was sent to the front. And after all, you can't die twice. This guy looks like a crazy person. How's our buddy doing over here? Oh, man. Oh, are we fighting right now? So this man has never seen the mummy. Those first two movies were really good. The second one in particular. 
Those are kind of like the ultimate like guilty pleasure movies. All right, he's not dead yet. He's still alive. The problem is, his problem is going to take six hours, where I could do two of these guys in the same time. Okay, this guy is still being sent. Sir, new patient arrived. Oh yeah? What do we got? Do the new ones always... Oh, he's terminal now. Well, I can't... Uh, you're denied. You're denied for now. If you stay alive in the denied box, then maybe I'll do something for you. Just like the other guy. We had the other guy in the denied box for a while, and he somehow uh, is now in surgery, so... Hey, slow down that truck. Sir, doctor is starting a new shift. Is he though? No. We don't, uh, they're, they're busy. We're just gonna leave him. Oh, this guy has also been shot, uh, three times. We gotta knock out some of these, uh, these lobby guys. All right, now we have the double going here. All right, Hudson, you're at 82%. You're almost through it. Wait, what's happening here at the pharmacy? What's the problem here? Why does this have like a weird symbol above it? Um, also at this point, can I just build whatever I want? Trauma medicine supplies. Can I just where's where's that at? Distillery. Is that at the end here or where where is that? I mean, I guess in the end this is all good stuff. Warehouse. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and just do... Let's do this. Let's do the distillery. Healing tab? Uh, maybe. So let's see here. Rehab, trauma ward. Actually, um, again, the, uh, the trauma ward is where I'm having all my problems. Surgery ward. What's under housing? So, medical team, nursing, engineer, staff lodging. Decreases the rest time needed for units by 10%. Um, let's knock that out. Uh, I don't have another engineer available at this time. I guess I'm gonna have to wait. Did our buddy make it? Sir, engineers reached the construction site. Thank you. Let me know when he's done. 97, 98, 99. Sir, we lost this patient. What? How? We lost him at the 1% mark? After everything he's been through. You took a nasty fall. Unbelievable.
I don't believe it. Extremely exhausted. Just do whatever you need to do. Unbelievable. Denied. How is that even possible? What, does he keep rolling nat ones on his... He's like, all right, I'm almost done with this surgery. Let me just roll a d20. Ah, crap. Uh, dispatch from HQ, they want us to send more soldiers to the trenches. Okay. I gotta send 12 soldiers? I don't even have that many. What do you, what do you want from me, HQ? Sir, operation was successful. What is going on here with these red marks? I don't know what this means. How am I, um... We finally got somebody? Yeah, what what do these red marks mean here? Oh, we got the uh, distillery done. Good. Is there a... Let's see here. Like, I don't even know what... Uh, the mechanics. I'm trying to find something that would tell me what those red marks mean. Hmm. Not sure. Resting, rested. Okay. Uh, what's an easy guy that we can pop out here real quick? I wish I could hover over this red mark and it would tell me what it means. Because there's nothing in here that tells me what that is. It's like a person with like a uh, a cross in them. I don't know. And this one is like a bag with a wrench. But this is still, like, doing its thing. I, I don't know. Sir, new patient arrived. All right. Sir, it seems the bullet passed through the patient's body without causing uh, major damage to his internal organs. Well, that's fine. Just go ahead and do his thing. Now this has a symbol over it. German attack is coming. Brace your hearts, men. Uh oh. Hopefully that's them and not me. Sir, we have wounded soldier. A wounded soldier? Or like a billion wounded soldiers? Right. 
We suffered heavy casualties during the last battle. There's a need to transport the wounded uh, from the trenches to the CCS. Uh, build an advanced dressing station. Assign a medic. Uh, got it. You got it. Is there any chance this means that I'm out of nurses or something? I think there's a problem here that I don't have a backup nurse. Can I buy one? I'm wondering if you need overflow. Same with the engineering situation. Maybe, maybe it's maybe I'm getting red here because we have people that are like extremely uh Can I... Can I just do this? Okay, I think that's exactly what the problem is. I, I, di I di didn't have anybody to back these people up, and so now they're freaking out. So I need a backup engineer, and I need a backup Chef, nurse. Engineer was on the way. Do I have the, the money for that? Uh, no. Crap. Okay, I'm just gonna have to do this a little bit more careful then. Okay, so if you're arrested now, oh, we got, uh, I'm denying you. Here, go fix that guy. Sir, operation was successful. Good, it's about time. So, I screwed up. And now I know better. That you have to have somebody in the available slot to swap in and out here. I didn't realize that that was uh, going to be a problem. Okay, so this engineer is... Okay, you go back to pharmacy. Do your thing. So I had to stop making supplies there for a second. So, um... The good mental note chat, make sure Set. you have... Engineers reached the pharmacy. Make sure you have somebody in that backup slot. I didn't... I didn't know that that was going to be a problem. Okay, we have two here. You have a little bit of combat power, so you're going to go back to the trenches. You're going to go to HQ. I need some, uh, some money. Some currency money. So, if I go to upgrades here, let's go to housing, because right now this is a problem. So, let's decrease rest time needed for units by 10%. Improve. And you're okay now, so you go do that. So, that, that ought to help me out a lot. Sir, engineers reached the construction site. Cool. Dr. Larry is uh, good to go. He's now well rested. All right, let's knock out some peeps. Oh, we got some critical conditioned folks. Uh, what's another short one? I guess they're all kind of short. Grab uh, that guy. We'll grab that guy and then do a set rest, set rest. And hopefully we'll be okay. Hey, this guy over in the denial box. If he's still there after the rest, we'll uh, we'll work on him. Although, 
feel like those guys are dying in surgery a lot. How are my nurses doing? Are they, like, better now? Here, can I swap, um... Can we do a swap here? Okay. So now we know the red symbols mean that there's somebody that's like extremely, extremely exhausted there. Sir, nurses reached the rehab. Cool. Sir, patient is cured. Hey. You should receive staff permits shortly. Good. I need them. Well, chat, we're kind of getting towards the end of the stream here. Sir, operation was successful. So, yeah, I guess my uh, first impressions of this after two hours, uh, I like it. I, I'm definitely, you know, a fan of these management style games, and this one is, uh, this one's different, and I like it. Uh, it's it's kind of neat that you have the two different sides of it. You've got the yeah. like New patient arrived. the trenches side that you have to manage because again, from what I can tell, if you get overrun, then they come here, they take your hospital, and it's game over basically. So you're having to manage that part of it with the like medical side of things, and you know we've just I've barely touched the surface on this regarding kind of like the skill trees and and all that fun stuff. And there, that guy just died after uh, being denied. Figured that might happen. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I definitely want to stream more of this next week. So I think uh, I think we'll go ahead and we'll do that. So, yeah, it's kind of a neat game. Oh, my ruthless number went up. Oh, that's kind of crazy. Probably because I was denying those people. Listen, I can't yeah, save. Operation was successful. I can't save everybody. It's very difficult. But yeah, yeah. So far, uh, I'm enjoying this, and I definitely want to play more. Uh, and again, big thanks to the uh, developers for giving me uh, the uh, the key to this game to check it out. And I'm definitely one of those people where if if I was not enjoying the game, I, you know, I would tell you. Uh, I would also be nitpicking the hell out of it if I was finding problems. And, yeah, I don't really have too much to complain about. You know, I, I complained about a couple, like, little things. Like, I was like, oh, what does the red mark mean? Because I couldn't figure it out. And they could add some minor quality of life stuff. Like, if, if I went over, over to this building and I, like, hover over the top of that red mark... It'd be cool if there was like a little, Sir, patient is cured. a little like thing that popped up Sir, and said like exhausted or something like that. So I mean, they could add some little minor quality of life things like that. But other than that, it seems like they pretty much planned everything out correctly. Uh, I did mention like a little bit of an audio stutter that's been happening, but I don't know if that's on just. A problem with my PC or the game or whatever so no pretty uh pretty cool little like management style game and yeah if you're into this type of game I think you'd probably enjoy it so cool stuff uh, do I have to save here I should probably go ahead and do that here since we haven't done uh that but yeah, tomorrow, chat, we're going to be back into World of Warcraft. And then, yeah, I'll probably stream this again, again on Sir, Monday. Shift. Actually, I should probably just go ahead and pause it here since I'm talking. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. But yeah, with that, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, wrap up things right there for the evening. So yeah, big thanks to uh, everybody who came out. Really do appreciate it. And yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. Central for the next one. So hope you guys have a, a fantastic rest of your day or evening wherever you're on the world, and we'll see you next time. So have a good night, and we'll see you then. Bye.